everyone welcome back round geek here so windows 11 has improved drastically no doubt since it was first released now mostly because microsoft has slowly implemented changes based on the user feedback now despite those gain there are still some glaring issues i have with the windows 11 luckily they can be fixed with a few easy registry hack so without any further delay let's quickly get started so the first registry tweak that we will be applying, we will be disabling the Bing search in the start menu. Now, once you install the Windows 11 and the moment you click on your Windows search. So till the time, if you type something here correctly, like if I type command, so you can see it shows me the perfect result. Now, in case if I make any mistake here, so you can see that it shows me the Bing result. And once I click anywhere or hit the enter key, it will redirect me to the Bing search. This is really annoying and most of the user, they really don't need it. So in order to disable it, what you will have to do, click on your Windows search, type registry, click on registry editor, click on yes, and the registry editor box will be up. Now here from the left hand side, you have to look for H key current user, double click on it. Then you have to look for software, double click on it. In the software, you have to look for policies, double click on it. Then look for Microsoft then look for windows once you come to the windows make a right click on windows hover up to new choose key and rename it as explorer now if you already have this key then you don't have to create it but if you don't then you can make a right click and create this new key over here once created select it then on the right hand side make a right click on the blank space hover up to new choose dot 32 bit value and this you have to rename as disable search box suggestions all right so you have to type exactly even i will leave this all name in the description once you have created make a double click on it and change its value data from zero to one and click on okay now in order to apply the changes either you can restart the file explorer so let me try it i will bring up the task manager look for the file explorer here right click on it and click on restart in case if the file explorer restart doesn't work then you will have to go ahead and restart the computer let me search here now and if i mistype anything so you will see that it clearly shows me no result found and it will not suggest me any bing suggestion so this looks good either if i type correctly it will show me the result but if not then it will clearly say that no result found now let's move with the next registry to it where we will be restoring the old context menu right click context menu now on windows 11 if you right click on the desktop you'll see this kind of a uh, new context menu and majority of the people they really don't like it they have to click all the time on show more option but we really don't need it so if like me if you also need the old context menu that you had on windows 10 then you can also do that using a registry tweak and without using any kind of third party tool so again bring up the registry editor again here double click on HK current user then look for software in the software you have to look for classes double click on it in the classes you have to look for a key by the name CLS ID so come to the C section and here you will find CLS ID so once you come on CLS ID on the right hand side right click on the blank space hover up to new choose key and this key you have to rename it with this code that you will be getting in the description so simply copy the code and rename this key once you have renamed come to this location only again right click on this blank space over up to new choose key and this key you have to rename as in with the i capital proc server proc with the p capital server 32 once you have renamed select the key that you have just created then on the right hand side you will find the default value make a double click on it make sure it's been selected to empty there should be nothing inside the value data and that's it click on ok now close the registry editor again right click on the taskbar open the task manager restart the file explorer again so that the changes can be applied all right so the windows has been restarted now this time if i right click on the desktop so bingo now you can see we have the old context menu here we have easily and successfully restored the classic context menu 
So this was the second registry tweak that you can apply on your Windows 11 in order to make it better. So now let's move with the last registry tweak that is disabling the lock screen. Though I lock my computer frequently, I don't actually use the lock screen. It is just another thing in the way when I need to log in back in. So I disable it entirely immediately whenever I set up a fresh install of Windows 11. So in order to disable the lock screen, again, you can bring up the registry editor. From the left hand menu option, you have to look for HK local machine, make a double click on it. Then you have to look for software, double click on it. In the software, you have to look for policies, double click on it. Then look for Microsoft, then look for Windows. Now make a right click on this Windows key here, or up to new, choose key. And this you have to rename as personalization. Once you have created, select this personalization key. Then on the right hand side, again make a right click on the blank space over up to new. Choose door 32 bit value and rename as no with N capital, lock with L capital, screen with S capital. Once created, make a double click on it and change the value data from 0 to 1. And click on OK and close it. So the next time when you will restart the computer, the lock screen will be disabled and you can directly type in your password. So that's all guys for today and hopefully you will enjoy all these three registry tweak and I really recommend that kindly go ahead and apply this tweak after you have fresh installed the Windows 11. And if you enjoyed the video, found the information useful, please hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.